Iron Man, Superman, the Hulk, Wonder Woman, Mr. Clean Hammer, all superheroes have a vocation story. And it seems like all of us are really enthralled with these. You look at all the various TV shows and movies put out by the, about the origins of superheroes. Right, even Spider-Man's got one. It's got like five, I think. But even the disciples, and each one of us, have a vocation story, an origin story. And what do we see in today's gospel? We see Simon himself, and we could probably title this scene, The Origins of Simon Peter, the First Pope. All right, what do we got? We got Simon. His name becomes Peter. But what do we have? We have Jesus coming up to him, and then Jesus says, come out with me onto the water. And so Peter takes the boat and goes out on the water. And after Jesus is done talking for goodness knows how long, then he says, Peter, let's go out into the deep water where it's dangerous. Right? And Peter protests, but still goes out with Jesus. And then they catch this ginormous amount of fish. And recognizing, right, the fact that he can't catch any fish on his own, the gospel never tells us that Peter ever caught any fish on his own, and even though he's a fisherman, it's kind of funny. But he catches this large number of fish with Jesus, and then he recognizes that Jesus is something special and says, Jesus, leave me. I am a sinful man. And then Jesus says, no, you come follow me. And the superheroes, in their vocation stories, we kind of see the same three patterns, the same pattern with three different things, three different parts. The first is something dramatic happens. The second, there's a recognition of what has happened and who they are, the powers they now possess. And that third section, that third part of their story, is a living that out. A living out of a call to be something great. Simon Peter today has encountered with Jesus, the living God. I mean, you can't get any more dramatic than that. Right? They're out on the boat, and they catch this large number of fish. Something dramatic has just happened in Peter's life. Just like the superheroes being bit by a spider for uh, Spider-Man, being injected with the serum, with the Hulk, or Captain America. And then the third part, Jesus asks him, follow me. And Peter and the sons of Zebedee leave everything, their whole livelihood, and follow Jesus Christ. They don't even know this guy. He just showed up and says, look at all this fish. I hope you guys catch. You worked all night, couldn't catch a thing. You come out with me once and you get a whole slew of fish. And so the disciples leave everything and follow Jesus. We each have a dramatic encounter with God every day in the sacraments. Every single day. Most especially in the sacrament of the Eucharist. Where God himself gives us his body, blood, soul, and divinity. He just doesn't give us large numbers of fish. He gives us himself. You can't get any more dramatic than that. And then the second step is we have to recognize what we have been given. We have to recognize who we are. We've all been created by God with all our uniquenesses, all our sins, our struggles, our talents. And then once we recognize that, we are to follow Jesus Christ. We had a few students go to the Zoomville Youth Conference this past summer. And I bet if you ask them, they've had a dramatic encounter with Jesus Christ. 
yes, in the sacraments, but also experiencing the Holy Spirit and His power. Speaking in tongues, being slain in the Spirit. All sorts of incredible things. And I can attest that each one of those students have been changed forever. And they now seek to follow out that call. How do we do that? Dramatic encounter? Yes, in the sacraments. But in prayer. Take time to pray every day. Even just five minutes. Pray. And then recognize who you are. Search yourselves. This time is in high school, middle school. A time to come to know who you are. What you struggle with. What you're good at. What you're not good at. And then once you know... Place it all in front of our Lord and allow Him to lead you. Those three steps, like the superheroes. Those three steps, like Simon Peter. And those three steps are now presented to you to follow. To climb the ladder to the heights of holiness. You don't have to do it on your own like the superheroes do. You get to do it with the God of the universe. He is there to help you. The only question is, will you follow? We approach the altar, asking our Lord now, what do you want of me? What do you want of me? I desire a dramatic encounter with you. I desire to know who I am and my deepest being. Reveal that to me. And now lead me. As you receive communion today, hear our Lord speak to you.